The music news for the streets, the music news for your beats, the news for the music stuff that you gonna need. We gon' talk about plugins, we gon' talk about gear. If it's news on this music, we gon' talk about it here. Let's go. Welcome to the music news for the streets. I'm your anchor man, something, something, something. Hit the keys. And in today's newscast, we have all kinds of exciting stories from some freebies. We've got a brand new plugin from Sugar Bites. But our top story today comes from UAD, and they are offering a phenomenal free plugin. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the story. Um, so as we look here, UAD or Universal Audio is offering a free version of the LA-2A tube compressor plugin. Look guys, I know I suggest a lot of free plugins all the time on the channel, but if you were to ever go get a free plugin that I suggest, I recommend getting this plugin. Even if you don't know what you can use it on yet or anything like that, it is a great plugin to have in the future. Um, it's something that you can use on vocals, you can use on basses, you can use on guitars, you can use on electric pianos, pianos, you can use it on a lot of things. Um, and basically what this plugin does is that it's going to amplify your sound, but it's going to preserve all your dynamics. So it's like you can turn things up, you can get a boost in volume on things, but it gives it a clean boost. And that's why this is such a popular plugin. Um, it normally sells for, I believe, between $250 and $300, and they're giving it away free right now. I use this plugin on every single vocal that I record for every song. Every time that you guys see me uh, recording these videos with my mic, it is burned in um, to my vocal chain. So I typically use that. I'm just not currently using it um, with this clip on microphone, but I can't stress enough. This is probably one of the top five plugins that I actually use the most. Uh, let's go ahead and hop into FL Studio and I'm gonna show it to you just a little bit here. Um, so I have this little loop built up. I don't make a full beat for this, uh, for this video today. Um, but I have it on the vocal and I have it on the bass. So I'm going to play the track first without the um, LA-2A on there. And then I'm going to turn it on as it's playing um, so that you guys can uh, hear the difference. Um, and you'll be able to hear the difference immediately. I mean, so you can hear there clear as day that it just added so much more volume, but it was all clean. It didn't distort the sound, the signal or anything like that. Um, with this, it's gonna give you different presets that you can use too. So for like acoustic guitars, backing vocals, um, bass, different bass things, um, different drums. I wouldn't necessarily use this on drums that much because if you want your drums to smack, the way that this um, compressor works is that it's going to make some drums that smack just sound good, if that makes sense. So it'll take them from excellent to good. Um, so I wouldn't recommend these on drums, but you can do what you like. Um, but it's just got a bunch of different things that you can put it on. Um, you know, so I would definitely recommend checking this out. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mute everything else and just let you hear the vocal with it on and off and then just mess with it just a little bit. Um, but this is what it sounds like um, with it off. All right, so you have gain and you have peak reduction. These knobs work uh, in unison. Uh, they don't go at the same time, but the more that you turn the gain up, you wanna watch your peak reduction. I'm not gonna always tell you to pull your peak reduction down because it depends on the sound that you're going for, uh, but I'll show you guys a little bit. So do you guys hear how much volume I'm getting before it starts to um, introduce any saturation into the actual uh, vocals? That's very nice. But then once you notice that it's getting a little bit of distortion in there, then you just come over here to your peak reduction and add a little bit to that. And so the metering system on this is nice as well. You just don't want to get into the red. You also have gain reduction over here too as well. And then while we're on the note of this LA-2A, um, they're also offering a deal over at Plugin Boutique based off this free plugin. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick. So right now they're offering the Universal Audio Essentials Bundle Crossgrade from the free LA-2A uh, tube compressor. 
Um, so for $49, you can get 11 plugins from UAD. And again, UAD's plugins are typically somewhere between $250 to $300 a plugin. And so in this bundle, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get um, all three versions of the LA two-way uh, level collection. Um, I really like this one right here. It's basic, but you get a really nice tone out of this one. Um, you're also going to get this Pultec Passive EQ, which is solid. Um, you're gonna get this Century Two uh, channel strip. Um, you're gonna get this Oxide tape recorder. This is really nice to add a little bit of saturation into your mix. Um, you're gonna get this Galaxy Tape Echo. Um, and you're gonna get this Pure Plate Reverb. And then you're also gonna get Polymax Synth. Um, so this is a pretty solid synth as well. Um, in my personal opinion, all of these things are pretty fire. For $49, you're definitely getting a killer deal uh, with this bundle. But at a bare minimum, I can't help but stress, go grab that free LA two-way right now because it is the best emulation of any LA two-way out there. In breaking news. It looks like Microsoft Excel has just dropped a brand new calculator. What do you mean it's not Microsoft Excel? It looks like a spreadsheet to me. Apparently my producers are telling me that Akai has just dropped a brand new MIDI controller uh, for Ableton. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the story. Are y'all sure that's not Microsoft Excel? So as we see here, Akai has just dropped an APC 64 a standalone sequencer and Ableton controller. What a time to be alive for Ableton, right? Y'all got the push and now you guys get this. Um, so right here, it tells us that some of the highlights in the Akai APC64 are, um, it's a MIDI controller for Ableton Live. Um, it's got 64 RGB illuminated pads with velocity and poly aftertouch. Um, it's got eight assignable touch strip faders. Um, it's got notes for scales and chords and drum mode. Um, it's got color display for visual feedback. Um, it's got an internal step sequencer with standalone mode with eight tracks and 32 steps each. It's got two MIDI outputs, one MIDI input, both TRS. Um, and it's got eight CV outputs for control and modular gear. So let's go ahead and pull this up and take a look at it. So as we take a look at it right here, what's pretty cool is instead of having faders and pots, um, they have this touch strip right here. Um, so what's, what I've seen in the videos is that wherever you touch, like if I touch right here, it's just gonna start to slider here. If I touch here, it's gonna start to slider here. These lights right here will light up and let you know exactly um, where the slider is at or where the volume is at or whatever it is. Um, as you see here, it's got an RGB uh, pad, so it does look nice and you should be able to control everything in Ableton with this. Um, so you don't need a keyboard or a mouse in order to use this with Ableton, which is a nice feature. So over here at Gear News, they have completed a full review over this. Um, so what they say is that this basically stands in the middle between uh, the Novation Launchpad and the Ableton Push. It resembles the Launchpad Pro MK3 the most. In direct comparison, there are additional touch faders and CV outputs, as well as an internal step sequencer with eight tracks in standalone mode. Uh, with the Push, you get a tighter integration. If you just want to launch and record clips in Ableton Live, the launch pad might be your thing. Um, but if you're looking for additional CV outputs and a pretty nice step sequencer, take a look at the APC64. Um, I must admit though, that the firmware of the controller still seems a bit unfinished in some areas, uh, but fingers crossed that they have already fixed it you know, at the time of the release. So if you're looking to get like a different MIDI keyboard or you're looking to get like a little drum pad or something like that, uh, for Ableton, this might be the way to go because again, it's not quite as much as a push. It's a little more expensive than a launch pad, but you're gonna get more functions with the launch pad. Just keep in mind, some people say that the touch uh, faders aren't for them, but other people love them. Up next guys, it looks like Sugar Bites has just released Effect Tricks 2. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the story. So as we take a look here at Effect Tricks 2, it is going to look like this. Um, I do not have the first version of Effect Tricks, so I cannot tell you all the differences. I've never used that plugin, um, but I can let you guys know um, that it does. The new version currently has like 14 effects. It has a 32 step sequencer. You don't have to use all the steps, obviously. Um, it looks like down here at the bottom, you're gonna get more controls as well. Um, they tell us that the key features are a 32 step um, effect sequencer with swing and dynamic length, uh, 14 high class effects with classic to advanced, up to 12 complete setup patterns, uh, intelligent random. Um, so that's a nice feature there as well as random. 
a flexible modulation per step, dynamic signal flow, individual dry wet and global mix control and over 400 handcrafted presets. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into FL Studio and check out Effectrix 2. Um, so when you open it up again, it is going to look like this. Um, you can use this plugin for many different things. So obviously in the past, it's been used for 808s. It's been used obviously for melodies, for hi-hats and all that stuff. Uh, for me, what I would typically probably use this for is like different breaks and stuff like that in the beat. Um, so with this, what's cool is um, it's really easy to use. So like, let's say I just want to throw some bit crusher on something. Um, each one of these sequences um, of whatever I put the bit crusher on, um, it's going to just make a noise when it hits that sequence. And then you can stress this out really easily like this. If you want to, you can make it uh, go a little bit longer so you can make it more than just one step. So. So just like that, you can do pretty cool things. Um, it's got different presets down here uh, for each one of the effects. So if I click on that effect, you see it's gonna allow me to load some presets down here. If I do it up here, it's gonna allow me to uh, put some different presets here. Um, and then you have control over all kinds of things like drive, low, mids, high. And then like right here is the visualization of this control right here. Um, but each one of the controls that you go through, you'll see that you can see uh, what it's doing right here. Um, so let's go ahead and just mess with some presets real quick. Uh, so again, if I was using this, I would use this more for like breaks. Um, so let's go ahead and just make a break right here. Um, and it sounds like this. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty fire. It's going to give your beat some flavor. It's going to make your beat, you know, sound a little bit different. Uh, let's just listen to a few more of these. So that's pretty solid. And uh, what we can do is we'll just listen to what it sounds like. Like, let's say this is the buildup and it's going to go into the drop. So it's pretty solid and it's got all kinds of different stuff. It doesn't just have breaks. It's got long buildups. Um, it's got just a break. I'm saying that's pretty fire um, it's got different stuff like you got complex right here um, so let's go ahead and hit this bath Terra that's just a horrible name <laughs> yo does this say I am your father Luke I am your father But it's got stuff like that. Um, it's got different kinds of uh, complex ones. Those ones are wild. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to some of these filter ones real quick. Got reversing ones right here. You got different scratching right here, so let's see here. Yo, that one kind of goes hard to paint. 
And then it's also got like these space ones right here too as well. Uh, so let's just check out some of these at random. So you can use this one more than what I just used it on. I just wanted to give you guys a quick demo on what I wanted to use it on or what I would use it on. I will let you guys know that the intro price on this is $129. I'm gonna be honest with you guys as well. Um, if it were me and I had to choose a plugin and I was looking for something like this, um, I would probably choose Infiltrator 2 uh, because Infiltrator 2 is either $79 or $99. It goes on sale often. Um, but it's got 32 different effects. You can draw your LFOs in. Um, it's got a step sequencer in it. You can just do a whole bunch with that. I believe you can add up to 10 effects at a time. So you may not be able to use 14, but you can just add another, uh, another instance of uh, Infiltrator 2 on there uh, to use it and get it to sound fire. But if you are into sugar bite stuff, I believe it's $80 from an upgrade uh, from the original effect tricks. Um, you can check it out. I'll leave everything linked below in the description. And the next story I have for you guys today is another freebie. It comes from Sample Science and it's called 80s Drumstar. And when you open up 80s Drumstar, it's going to look like this. As you see here, it is a drum kit. There are three different kits in this thing. Um, so you have um, this one right here, which sounds like this. So I didn't do anything super fancy with this. I just put together a, a four on the floor pattern. Um, but with this, you got distortion, delay, reverb. You got sub down here as well. Up top, you can add vinyl, you can add tape, different kind of modulations. With this kit, they got different sounds. I'll play all the sounds for you real quick. And then uh, we have another kit right here. Um, this kit sounds like this. Um, so here are the sounds in this kit. Then we also have a third kit right here, and this kit sounds like this. So this one's pretty cool. You can definitely use this for some synth wave. So if you're looking for a drum kit for some 80s style music, like whether it's synthwave or maybe some old school boom bap or something like that, um, I'll leave this link below in the description as well. And up next for you guys, uh, the last thing I have for you guys today are just some deals. Uh, so the first deals that I have are from Zound. You guys already know I love me some Zounds. Um, if you're a musician and you're looking to get some equipment, but you don't have the dollars in your pocket right now when your credit might not be the best, uh, no worries, Zounds might be able to take care of you because you might be able uh, to get something without a credit check just as long as you give them a debit card so that you can make those payments on time. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of the deals over there at Zounds today. Um, so they're currently offering some Loudon Audio microphones um, for $40, $100 off and $50 off. Um, so as you see here right now, um, you can get the Loudon Audio LA220 V2 for $319 instead of the $359 that it normally is. Um, or you can go up one and you can get the LA320 for $599 instead of $699 right now. Um, they also have um, the LA120 small diaphragm condenser microphone right here for $449 and it's $50 off. Over here at Cali Audio, they're offering a deal, um, and the deal is actually um, a pair of these monitors right here. 
So a pair of the LP8 V2s um, along with the sub, the WS 6.2 sub for 997, I'm sorry, for 899 instead of 997. So $100 off of two eight inch monitors and a sub, that's not a bad deal at all. And then I also wanted to mention while we're talking about monitors, um, Focal also has a deal right here um, where they're offering $80 off of the Shape 40 active monitor. They're offering 130 off of the Shape 50, 100 off of the 65, and then 150 off the Twin uh, Dual. Over at Plugin Boutique, they have a couple of solid deals as well. I know I mentioned this deal earlier in the video, but I gotta mention it again in case you skip forward. Make sure you go grab that free LA-2A tube compressor. And then if you're interested in this bundle with 11 plugins, it's here. Um, they also have this Isotope Creative Effect Cell. So you know how I just mentioned effect tricks? A lot of the stuff that you I was doing in effect tricks, you can do in Stutter Edit. Not everything, because it doesn't have all the same effects. Um, but Stutter Edit 2 is a very, very solid multi-effect plugin that allows you to create all kinds of stutters, do all kinds of dope things. It's got halftime, all that stuff in there. Um, it's only $12 right now. I always mention this when it goes on sale because this will allow you to cross grade into other Isotope plugins in the future, whether it's Ozone, Neutron, Nectar, a Vocal Synth, anything like that, whatever they have come out new. Um, it'll get you into that for only $12 and it'll typically get you a pretty good discount. Neoverb is an AI reverb, so it uses AI to put a good reverb on whatever sound you're using it on. Vocal Synth is a solid vocoder plugin. Um, and the last deal that I have for you guys today comes from UJAM. Uh, UJAM has a few things on sale right now. Silk is 85% off. This is a virtual guitarist. Um, it's a pretty solid little plugin. Um, they also have Brute, which is a virtual drum plugin, and then they have Finisher Boost, which is a very solid multi-effect plugin for $39. So that's what I got for you guys today. Hope I could help you guys out uh, with that freebie from UAD. <sighs> My producer's telling me that I have to apologize to all the Ableton users for saying that Ableton looks like Excel, even though it looks like Excel. Make sure if you guys do like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.